Hello, everybody.、Uh, this is she again. This is the second part of my、uh, rope roller videos. So,、uh, first, I just want to say、uh, I don't really、uh, encourage people to build a rig like this for、uh, this roller here, because、uh, in a VFX movie or animation.、Uh, This kind of device probably just show up for like one shot or two shots maximally. So you can completely fake it with、uh, something else. Uh, uh, the way I build it's、uh, it's heavily、uh, expression based, and、uh, actually I just、uh, I did it for fun, like、uh, more like an experiment.、Uh, I just want to know if this thing is uh, pre. Uh, Uh, actually, uh, uh, practically uh, possible to rig.、Uh, so、uh, yeah, that's why I did this thing. But、uh, I still want to show you guys how I built it、uh, to maybe uh, uh, to inspire people. Maybe、uh, yeah, maybe you guys can build something else with、uh, the method I used here.、Uh, so first, I want to show you guys、uh, these curves here. These curves are used to build this guide geometry on the roller, which is very important. So、uh, to get、uh, curves like these,、uh, you can actually、uh, create a polygon primitive、uh, helix. Then you can extract、uh, the curves from. The geometry use、uh, duplicate surface curves. Once you get one curve and the other one is just、uh, a duplicate, you know, just、uh, flip it over and、uh, make it bigger. Then you attach these two curves together. With、uh, the tool provided in Maya, the attach curve tool, add curve,、uh, attach curves, attach curves. So once they are attached, you just delete history and they become one curve. And then you just、uh, duplicate these curves and、uh, grab these two curves and the loft. Make a beautiful geometry. Well, you can you can continuously edit this geometry a little, or maybe you can use a different setting here to get a simple version. Of this geometry, yeah, that's for that. So once you have、uh, this geometry, the next thing you do is to put locators on. Sorry, at. On the geometry, but at each turning point.、Uh, based on my experiment, ten、uh, locators for each circle brings、uh, a very、uh, acceptable resolution when the cable is wrapped on this barrel. Let's hide the geometry here. The way I attach these locators、uh, to the to this、uh, guide geometry is to use the constraint, the point、uh, on poly constraint, right here. Point on poly constraint.、Uh, 
I really like this constraint is because uh, you can attach an object to a ver vertex and uh, uh, the direction of this object will be decided by the normal of this geometry. So if you have a very nice shaped geometry and uh, all the objects, because here I have a lot of locators atta attached to this geometry. So if I have a very uh, designed geometry here, all the locators will follow the flow of this geometry. There will be no flicking problem. Okay, once I have all these locators attached to this geometry, the next thing I do is to have a motion pass for the cable when the cable is not on the roller yet. So this motion pass is not actually a uh, motion pass from animation, a animate motion pass, not a curve based motion pass. It's a hair follicle based motion pass. And also, uh, why this is better, better than uh, the uh, standard motion pass is because uh, this have uh, this uh, because the hair follicle is attached to a geometry, and it, again the geometry has normal, and the normal will decide the direction of these hair follicles, which will decide the direction of uh, the joints later I attach to each of these follicles. So there will be, uh, I'm not saying no flipping problem because the geometry will, uh, will be flipped at a certain point as I showed uh, in my first video, but there will be less, much less flipping problem. As you can see already here, I have all my joints. These joints will uh, drive the rope geometry and these joints each one of these joints is attached to one of the follicles they all set sit in their own individual follicles and once The hair follicles moving closer to the end point of this motion pass. All these hair follicles are animated, so once they move closer to the end point, the joint will uh, move away from the hair follicle and attach to their own individual locator. And uh, the method is very simple actually. It's uh, only switching the weight of uh, parent constraints. One parent constraint actually. Uh, two target objects. Uh, one is the hair follicle for each joint. Let's see the joint here. Yeah, this one. See, the weight is switching from the rope follicle. Right now it's 0 0.9. And uh, also the weight, it, it's getting a little bit more weight because it is getting closer to the end point. So it is getting a little weight from the locator. Let's rotate a little to see how this switch. Now this joint is switching. It's jumping away 
from hair follicle and get closer to its locator see remember it was 0 0.9 now it is only 0 0.6 and uh, it gets more weight on this target object 0 0.377 Move a little further. See this joint. It gets more weight from locator. From this locator here, kind of hard to see a lot of objects. This locator here. Once you completely roll over, and uh, this joint will receive no weight from its follicle but 100% weight from its locator that's how these joints moves away from the motion pass and get to the roller as I said before it is a very uh, heavily expression based uh, rigging so uh, I at this point, I just want to say I really uh, encourage riggers to do some scripting and expression study because there's no way you can make uh, over 1,000 connections because we I uh, have like 160, uh, 161 joints here, 160. So each joint is connected to the motion pass follicles, so there will be 161 follicles, also 161 uh, uh, locators, and locators will have 161, everything 161 uh, constraints, also joints 161 parent constraints, and hair follicles 161 uh, motion pass animation is driven by this uh, controller, roller controller so uh, there are probably over 1000 connections you have to make and I did this rig in a day so there's no way I can do this in a day manually so you have to do some scripting and uh, uh, oh, by the way, if you want to know how to like do the motion pass uh, for hair follicle, how to attach hair follicle on follicles on geometry, there are plenty of uh, videos online. So I'm not going to cover that part. Um, so yeah, that's it. I think that's all I need to say for this uh, segment part. And uh, thank you for watching. Again, this is G. See you guys next time, maybe.